The Human Brain Project is, uh, its overarching goal is to try to unify our understanding of the brain. It's a bit like uh, in physics, trying to achieve a unifying understanding of all the forces uh, in nature. It's just that for the brain, uh, it's a much bigger challenge because all the data and all the knowledge is very fragmented. There's knowledge lying at the genetic level, at the protein level, at the cellular level, the synaptic level, the brain region level, the systems level, the whole brain level, behavioral level, cognitive level, psychophysical level, even psychological level. And we study it in, in slices and you grow up to be a scientist and you study your particular slice. What we're saying is that you can't understand the brain from one slice. We have to put the slices together. So one of the things we're trying to do is to actually use um, the method of what we call computational engineering to build a digital model of the brain. And it's not so much about the model, it's about the strategy of how to integrate our knowledge across the different levels of biology. It's about trying to clean up the past data to work out what works in the model together with other data, what doesn't work. It's a way of challenging the past experiments. It's a way of challenging our own knowledge because if we build a digital model based on certain principles and it deviates from the actual biology, then it is a very concrete way to challenge our understanding of principles of the brain. There's another aspect called future medicine. Our goal there is to try to get towards an objective classification of, of brain diseases. We believe that the symptom-based classification of brain diseases has been a major impediment to research, to diagnosis, to developing drugs. Our strategy is to obtain data from as many different patients as possible for many, as many different diseases as possible across all the levels of information from genetic level, protein rep, blood, um, cerebrospinal fluid, whole brain level, imaging level, and so on, and to cluster, to first take a big data approach to the medical data that we do have. There's another part of the Human Brain Project called Future Computing where we believe that uh, we're going to be able to harvest the technological secrets of the brain in terms of how it's processing information, transmitting information, storing information, how it's doing it so reliably. Your brain can lose half the neurons and you may not even notice. So it's a very, very robust machine. It's a very powerful computational device. And we see that as cognitive type of computing. So we are developing strategies, both from simplifying very detailed models and also from theorizing top-down models um, to produce circuit diagrams that we could print onto chips, into silicon chips, both uh, numerical, what we call numerical neuromorphic chips, or physical neuromorphic chips. And that's what we call future computing. So in a sense, the Human Brain Project is attempting to bring together our fundamental understanding of the brain, our understanding of all diseases, and understanding how we can apply that to build new kinds of computers.